Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 6, Chapter 7, Introduction to Algebra, Exercise 7.2. Let us see the first sum now. Write the expressions for the following statements. First one, 5 is added to 3 times z. 3 times z means 3z. This is added to 5. 5 is added to 3 times z. So the rule is 3z plus 5. See second one 9 times n is added to 10. 9 times n is 9n that is added to 10. So the rule is 9n plus 10. See third one 16 is subtracted from 2 times y. 2 times y means 2y minus 16. So the rule is 2y minus 16. See fourth one y is multiplied by 10 that is 10y and then x is added to the product plus x. So the rule is 10y plus x. See now question number 2. Peter has p number of balls. Number of balls with David is 3 times the balls with Peter. Write this as an expression. Let us see the solution. Number of balls that Peter has that equals to P. Number of balls with David is 3 times the balls with Peter. Therefore, number of balls with David is 3P. See now question number 3. Sita has 3 more notebooks than Gita. Find the number of books that Sita has. Use any letter for the number of books that Gita has. Let the number of books that Gita has that equals to x. They have given Sita has 3 more notebooks than Gita. They ask us to find number of books that Sita has. That equals to x plus 3. Let us see question number 4. Carrots are marching in a parrot. There are 5 carrots in each row. What is the rule for the number of carrots for a given number of rows? Use n for the number of rows. Let us see the solution now. The number of carrots in each row is given as 5. Let the number of rows be n. Therefore, total number of carrots in n number of rows that equals to 5 into n that equals to 5n. Today we have seen chapter 7, introduction to algebra, exercise 7.2, 1 to 4 sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.